dividing complex numbers. So let's start with 6 plus 3i divided by 4i. 6 plus 3i divided by 4i. Okay, we don't want any imaginary numbers in our denominator, so let's multiply this fraction by i over i. Okay, now we distribute this i across the numerator. 6 times i is 6i plus 3i times i is 3i squared. In the denominator, we have 4i times i, which is 4i squared. Okay, now we know that i squared equals negative 1, so let's substitute negative 1 in for i squared. So let's rewrite this, 6i plus 3, 6i plus 3 times i squared, which is negative 1, all over 4 times i squared, which is 4 times negative 1. Okay, let's continue to simplify. We have 6i plus 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, all over 4 times negative 1, which is negative 4. Okay, let's rearrange this uh, numerator so that we have the real part before the imaginary part, which is the way it's normally done. So we have, instead of 6i minus 3, we have negative 3 plus 6i all over negative 4, which equals negative 3 divided by negative 4 is 3 fourths. 6 divided by negative 4 is negative 6 fourths i. Okay, the 6th fourths can be reduced. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 goes into 4 twice. So this can reduce to 3 fourths minus 3 over 2 i. And that's our final answer. All right, now let's try one with a binomial in the denominator instead of a monomial, which we had here. So let's try 8 minus i, 8 minus i over 2 plus 5i. Okay, again we have a, an imaginary number in the denominator, so we have to get rid of that. Basically our goals with dividing complex numbers are to remove the imaginary numbers from the denominator and then simplifying. <clears throat> so to get rid of this imaginary number, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. Okay, the conjugate of 2 plus 5i is 2 minus 5i. Of course, we're going to multiply the numerator by that as well. Again, we have 2 minus 5i over 2 minus 5i. That just equals 1. So multiplying this fraction by 1 doesn't change the value. Okay, now let's multiply. Okay, we have a binomial in our numerators and denominators. So let's use FOIL uh, to multiply these two binomials in the numerator. So I have 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times negative 5i is negative 40i. Negative i times 2 is negative 2i. And then negative i times negative 5i is positive 5i squared. Okay, now let's do the denominator. We have 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative 5i is negative 10i. 5 times, or 5i times 2 is positive 10i. And 
and 5i times negative 5i is negative 25i squared. Okay, now let's plug in, let's simplify, let's um, combine like terms and plug in negative 1 for i squared. So let's take the numerator, 16. And we have negative 40i minus 2i, which is negative 42i. And we have plus 5, and let's plug in this negative 1 for i squared. Denominator, we have 4. And then we have negative 10i plus 10i, those cancel. We have minus 25i squared, minus 25. And for i squared, let's just plug in the negative 1. Okay, let's continue to simplify. We have uh, 16 plus negative 5, which is 11, minus 42i. Denominator, we have 4 minus 25 times negative 1. That's going to be 29. Let's rearrange the numerator so that we have... Oh, actually, this is okay, the way we have this. We have the real part before the imaginary part. So we can write this as 11 over 29. minus 42 over 29 i which cannot be simplified further so that's our final answer i hope that helps